Okay, we're back inside <laughs> for part two um, of my closet full of wax uh, review. I That bee was just freaking paranoying me and it was pissing me off. <laughs> so we're inside now because I don't want to get stung and swell up and have to go to the hospital. Um, so yes, okay, so we're back. Part two of my closet full of wax. Uh, we're on tarts. I was on lollipop swirl. This one, um, it has kind of a lemony, a lemony clean type smell, or like a lemon head, you know those, the, the little lemon candies that you get, it's got kind of a tangy lemon like that to me in there. Um, sorry, i got to rearrange my box here. We've got Bedtime Bath. I believe this one's supposed to be a dupe for the Johnson's Baby Bath. And this one is really, really, really nice. Um, it does. It smells like a baby. It's got like a slight baby powder note and lavender. Mm, lavender and chamomile. This one would really be good if you were trying to relax for the evening. This would definitely be a good bedroom scent. Even for your kids, I think this would be a really good bedtime scent. Um, I find that lavender actually really... I'm not going to talk to you right now. I'm making a review. Um, sorry, I'm getting FaceTimed. <laughs> so it, it would be a really good baby bedroom or a child's bedroom to help them like calm down and sleep for the night. Maybe after they had a bath with the bedtime bath stuff. Um, next is chestnuts and brown sugar. Get the hint, I'm not answering the phone. This one seems like it's going to be another really light one. Okay, she can go under the table for a minute. Uh, this is another really light one. Brown sugar, I always imagine to smell more molassesy in wax than it does. But this one's a nice, creamy, nutty, sugary scent. It's nice. I like that one. That one might also have to be a whole melter. Next, Ocean Breeze. It's very pretty blue. This one is it's bordering on the too clean for me. It's very, very clean. If there was like, you know how people say there's like, it's a green scent. This one is a blue scent, <laughs> if that makes sense at all. Um, it's very clean, very clean. It doesn't have that um, clothesline smell. It's more of that fresh air type smell. I really like that. Next, I'm going to pull out all these. Most of them anyway, so I don't have to keep moving back and forth. Next is Red Velvet Cake. This one is nice. It's got the the cake note with like a slight chocolate scent to it. Sorry, I know I'm just like spewing wax all over myself. And it's also very creamy. I'll have to melt that one and see. It seems like it would be kind of a light thrower too. This one is Honey Bunny. This one smells exactly like the dupe that it is duping. You smell the toffee, you smell the honey. I am totally going to mix all three of my smells together just to see if it was as epic as I imagined it in my head. Pistachio Coconut Fluff. This one is very full and has glitter. I don't know if you can even see that, but there's little baby glitters in there. This to me, it's odd. It doesn't smell like coconut, like regular coconut. Oh. <laughs> Note to self, do not stick nose on bottom. <laughs> Note to self, do not stick nose on bottom of wax tart from cup. That sounds better. Um, it doesn't smell like the normal coconut. It smells like men's 
cologne to me. I don't get a nutty, I don't get a nutty uh, coconut. I don't get a nutty pistachio. It just kind of smells like, um, and it's not bad. It's not stinky or gross or anything, but it smells like kind of like a man's cologne to me. Next is Malibu Rum Cupcake. This one definitely smells more coconut than that one did. But I don't get any rum. It just smells like a clean coconut with a slight cake note in it. It's very, it's nice. It's refreshing. It's like a refreshing coconut. And one of my lips is threatening mutiny. Get on there. Next, butterscotch bread pudding. I don't know why I do random English accents, but I do. This one is super duper light. These have all already been sitting for at least a week too. Um, I can smell it more on the bottom. It's got kind of a fresh yeasty bread with butterscotch in it. It smells like it's going to be good, but it does smell like it's going to be pretty light. So that one will probably also be a whole shot melter. Mexican fried ice cream. I believe like Mexican fried ice cream scents are supposed to have cinnamon in them, I think. This one definitely has cinnamon. And it definitely smells like fried ice cream. <sighs> oh, cute! It's got little sugar things on top of it. They look like little pieces of glass. Will they cut me? Oh, I don't want to stiff them up my nose. Um, aside from the little shards of glass, which I'm sure, I'm sure they're not shards of glass. It does smell like Mexican fried ice cream. You can smell like the cereal stuff they put on it. Um, trying to locate the last of my tart cups. Um, it smells like the cereal that they roll it in and the vanilla of the ice cream and the friedness. Mm. Ice cream scoop bread. Oh, this one's got glitter too. I love glitter. This smells like ice cream scoop bread, like most of the places that I smell. This one also is really super light. Several of these I think I'm going to have to do as full tarts, which it makes my cheapness like cringe. Just, I don't know, I think they have something morally against melting whole shots. <laughs> I'm too cheap. Lemon squares. This one is tart, straight up lemon. Just strong lemon. I don't know that I smell any crust or anything. Just lemon. Lemon, very strong lemon. Last tart cup, pistachio macaroon. See, this one smells more like I imagine the pistachio should smell. Um, it's got kind of that almondy note with it, which I don't mind. I don't mind the almond note as long as it's not like the only thing you can smell. But this one's nice. It's kind of a, a mellow pistachio cake kind of a smell. Um, next. We'll go with my little hearts because I only got a couple of those. First one I got is sugar corn pudding. Just seems like that's a southern thing and that you should say it just like that. Southern, southern corn pudding. Sugar corn pudding. Um, I love sugar corn pudding. And this one is really light. I have to smell it in the bag. Yeah, I honestly don't get much out of this one. I can't really smell it. Um, that one may have to cure more. And I just got wax all over my glasses. And next we have s'mores. Her chocolate scent is, I don't know what kind of oil she uses, but it is ridiculously good. And this smells just like a s'more. Chocolate, marshmallow, I don't necessarily know graham cracker, but that one's good. And last of the hearts is pina colada. This one. Definitely 
definitely smells like pina colada. I don't know if I even necessarily need to tell you, but it smells like coconut and pineapple. <laughs> Very good. And then I've got a bunch of little teddy bears. A bunch of little teddy bears. And I'm missing a couple of them. Oh, gum it. I thought I got them all, but I didn't. Uh, first is strawberry daiquiri. This one, I like this one. It smells different than the other strawberry scents that I've got. It doesn't have that, um, sticky, sweet strawberry scent. I think it's because of the, whatever the daiquiri note is. Kind of tones down a little bit. But that one is... Very nice. I swear my camera just like did something weird or my head did something weird. Uh, next is, oh, I'll do the one that I don't have up here is brownie batter. Her chocolate, uh, it smells like the real thing. And I have not had that in another company before. It smelled really good. It was kind of light. I don't know if that's just because I melted it like the day that I got it because I can't wait. But it was very um, next, stuffed French toast. These little bears are so cute. Very cinnamony. Very strong on the cinnamon. I don't know that I get a bread. But it's, uh, it's really nice. <clears throat> Just makes me want to take a bite out of these little bears. That one is so super good. I can't even, I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't smell like French toast per se. It smells like spicy baking something, but it smells freaking delicious. Oh, so good. Minty fresh vanilla. Sorry for the plastic noise. I probably have wax all over my face too. Um, this little guy, you definitely smell more of the mint than the vanilla, but they're both really light. Um, yeah, those ones are pretty light. Those will probably take a whole bear. Hopefully the smell will more blossom when I melt it. Uh, funnel cake. And if I remember right, this one was different from the other funnel cake smells that I've smelled as well. Yeah, this one. This one just smells spicy to me. I don't really get a cake note. It almost has like a pepper smell to it. Not like green pepper, but like pepper, pepper. But it smells good too. It's just different than I'm normally used to with the funnel cake. See all that wax flying off my nose? And onto my glasses. Jeepers. Next, strawberry bread. This one smells really good too. Um... This also smells different from the strawberry. It doesn't have the sticky sweetness. The bread definitely calms it down. It's like a bread that you would totally love to make and just eat the entire loaf of. Instead, it's strawberry. Strawberry and bread. It is basically what it is. It smells really good though. And if I can find the opening on this one. This is Pizzelle, and I don't know what's in this one, but it's very light. It's got kind of a creamy bakery cake note to it. That's about, that's about all I can tell you, is it's like a creamy bakery cake note. And then last, I've got a couple chunks and a bag of chunks. Um, the first one I got is called Family Affair. I don't know if I want to take these out because they're kind of big and I don't want them to get everywhere. Um, I think you can kind of see inside there. It's like got a red layer, a white layer, yellow, purple, green, pink. And it's all types of fruity. I think it's got the chicks dig it in there. Yeah, it's just fruit, fruit, and more fruity goodness. <sighs> Smells really good. 
and my next one is Modern Elvis Sandwich. I almost said Modern Elvish Sandwich. This one is also very pretty. It's got glitter all over the top. This one has a white layer, brown layer, yellow layer, another white layer, and a bunch of chunks in white and brown and yellow. Oh, my kids are arguing downstairs with each other. <laughs> um, this is, there's some creamy note to it. I don't know what the creamy note is. And then there's peanut butter and the banana. And usually the banana smell overtakes everything that you put it with. But this isn't. It, it all goes really, really well together. It's very light. Very nice. And last, and I'm most excited about this one, Serendipity Twinkies. Now I've been hearing about Twinkies, this Twinkie scent, everybody's been talking about it, and I can't get it from several vendors, um, but this I got from Closet Full of Wax, and I'm so flipping glad that I did. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells ridiculously good. The Serendipity is strong, but it is not overpowering the Twinkie. And the Twinkie is like this awesome awesome cake and cream note, which obviously that's what a Twinkie is, but oh, I just want to like, oh, so good. It just gets better with age. Oh my gosh. So it's like cherry and coconut, and then you get this creamy cake awesome note. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Oh, good job, good job. And it's got glitter all over the top and my fingers are just covered in oil and glitter and wax. And this is going in the warmer. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Hopefully it's not forever long and you're not bored out of your minds. Um, so closet full of wax. Yeah, super amazing, super awesome. Quick, fast shipping, great customer service. I will definitely be back. Um, so don't forget, leave me some comments. If you've had Closet Full of Wax, let me know what your favorite smells are. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have a ton of videos. So, all right, guys. Bye-bye.